In episode five, I'm gonna show you how to turn this into this. Hey everyone, Mike here. This is part two of our board competition finale 3D series, where we're going to add music to our show. If you haven't been following along in previous parts, go back, check them out, uh, as each part will build on the previous one. Uh, also be sure to subscribe to the channel so you get notified when new videos are posted. All right, so today we're adding music. Um, I wanna step back a little though and talk about where I get music and how to make sure you're using good quality audio. So let's get started. All right, so first let's talk about where you should not get music from and why. I do not recommend searching Google for free MP3 downloads and things like that. Don't tell me what to do. You're gonna get a ton of spam, probably viruses, and most important, you're going to get crappy audio. Uh, the reason you want good audio becomes very apparent when you start using a professional sound system for your show. The louder you crank it up, if there's distortion in the audio, it will become louder as well. And trust me, you'll notice it. The key is going to be lossless audio, otherwise known as high definition audio. Lossless means that it hasn't lost any data due to the compression that you would normally have in the typical MP3 or WAV file. Okay, so to keep this video somewhat short and to the point, get on with it. I get my music from Amazon. You can get your music from other services like iTunes, but since I'm not familiar with that, we're gonna focus on Amazon here. For our show, I've already decided on a song. We're going to use the final countdown by Damned Anthem. So let's grab that from Amazon and I will show you how to get the HD version. The first thing you need to do is download the Amazon Music desktop application. And once that's downloaded, you can find your song using the search bar here. Once you've found your song that you want to download, in this case, I've got the Damned Anthem album already up. Click on the three dots menu on the right. You can download an MP3 from here. Uh, but this will only be a 256 kilobits per second file. Amazon does not let you download the full HD versions. And to do that, we're going to need the help of another tool uh, called NoteBurner. And NoteBurner downloads the HD file from the stream within the Amazon Music application. So in order to do that, uh, we'll download NoteBurner, and I'll pull that up for you. Uh, once you open NoteBurner, it's going to ask you to add your music to paste the link to the, the, the song or album in here. Uh, first thing we're gonna do though is go to settings in NoteBurner and make sure we have the correct conversion settings. We want the output as MP3. We want the bit rate as 320 kilobits per second and the sample rate to be 48 kilohertz. And once you have those settings, we can go back to home and we need to get the link to our song to paste in here. Boring. <laughs> so we'll go back to Amazon Music and click the three dots again, and we'll go to share song. Share song, copy link. Now that we have the link to that song copied, we'll open NoteBurner again and paste that link in here. Hit go. And the final countdown, we click add. And once that's added, it'll be in our conversion queue here. And then we'll click convert. I'm not going to do that right now because it takes a few minutes. But once we convert the file, it will go into the converted section here. At that point, you will be able to locate your file. And here's the final countdown. Open up the folder here and grab your MP3 file. Once you have the MP3 file, we can then import it into Finale 3D and continue on with our show. All right, now that we have our music downloaded in HD format, we're going to go back to Finale 3D. We'll go to the music menu and click add song. Find the song on your computer. 
highlight open. And now the song will be imported into your timeline at the bottom. Next step is to go back to music and then uncheck lock songs in place. That will unlock the song on the timeline so you can move it around. Um, in our case, we're going to use these three lines here, click and drag, and we're going to clip off that empty space in the front. An empty space. Then drag the song back to the beginning. And so you can see it starts there. Now you can click this and drag and add five seconds of silence if you want. In our case, we're just going to bring it back to the beginning. Now go back to music and check lock songs in place to lock the song back in place. Now you can see on the timeline, there's a lot of peaks and valleys. Um, that's where we're going to be adding fireworks. If we come over here, we can add that firework right to that peak and preview that. So you can see that shell broke right on that uh, peak, which is pretty cool. All right, everybody. So stay tuned for the next part where we're going to talk about inventory management and purchasing fireworks online.